We do have crews in other areas that were hit earlier today and earlier this evening. We've got Ashley Moss in Cole, Oklahoma right now. Ashley, do we know of any any injuries right now? Is there a location where people who were displaced, maybe they're meeting or congregating in town? And Ashley, we're also hearing from the sheriff in McLean County that uh, some people were trapped in their storm shelters and their uh, mailboxes were blown away. So rescuers were having to use GPS to find them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the last time we spoke to you all, Kevin and Jolene, photographer Laura and I were in the thick of things. And then we started following those emergency vehicles outside of town. And the reality is right now you can get out of cold, but you can't get back in. And so we're still gathering details about emergency command centers that are being set up in the middle of town. But once we started following those emergency vehicles, they were doing exactly what you said. They're driving slowly. They were driving into the dark, essentially, because there's still absolutely no power. As you can see behind me, the only light really that you're seeing are from emergency vehicles. Um, vehicles were driving up into driveways, looking at people, cars were coming out, people were hopping out of vehicles. We could see at some point some people waving and we were wondering if there were injuries. And as of now, we haven't heard of any and that's good news. But again, we'll still be gathering more details. But right now we're stationed right here and it's really because we couldn't get any further. Every few minutes, cars are driving up and they're getting stopped by emergency personnel who are saying, where are you trying to go? Most people are saying, I'm trying to attack on my house. I'm trying to check on my cars. I'm trying to check on my roads. And the reality is you can't get any further. And it's not because because of the weather conditions, it's now because emergency crews, medics, safety personnel are trying to get in to continue surveying that damage, like you said. But we're still seeing a lot of downed power lines. We were coming across several cars that had either stalled out or they had crashed. But again, we're not seeing any injuries. But it is like what you said. Every few miles, we crossed over 250th, 260th, 270th all down MacArthur. We were following these emergency vehicles who kept their sirens on, who kept their lights on, checking for damage and checking for people who might be hurt or need additional help. And as you can see right by me, there's fire personnel right here. And he's basically saying every time a car stops, where are you trying to go? The reality is if you're trying to get into coal right now, you're not going to be able to get into coal. And emergency personnel are asking, sit tight, if you're trying to get help for somebody, call and make sure somebody let a professional go ahead and check on them. But keep yourself safe. Make sure you're avoiding downed power lines and that's still very much an issue. And the reality is you can't see the downed power lines. You can't see a lot of the issues that are still on the road because it is dark and because it is after the storm. So we're gonna keep following this information for you. We're gonna get try to get back over to the command center and get some more details for you. But what you need to know if you're trying to travel into coal, you can't. If you're trying to travel out of coal. We're going to have some information about how to get to an emergency shelter. Watch for downed power lines and if you need emergency personnel, don't be afraid to flag someone down. Chances are there is someone out on the road to help you. Kevin and Jolene, back to you. All right.